so to start installing Linux from Windows XP or any version of Windows the easiest way to go is to go to unit bootin dot sourceforge dot net unit bootin dot sourceforge dot net and the unit bootin website will come up download for Windows gives you the whole instructions here it'll give you a few seconds and then it will start you click open and it comes up you select a distribution you want to install Linux Mint If you got a 64-bit system, you can do 64. The best one to use, though, is Ubuntu. Ubuntu 12.04. If you have a 64-bit system, again, use a 64-bit system. You can try the daily live right off the bat because that's going to be the most up to date. I'll do 12.04 live saying I have a 32 bit system. Or you can also choose from a disk image if you already have an ISO downloaded, you can select that ISO. You want to select, you're going to your USB drive. Select OK. No flash drives are found. If you already have inserted USB, try reformatting. However, I have one in there. This is just in a virtual environment, so yours will not say that. Yours will show you your flash drive. And then you'll click OK and it will start installing to your flash drive or your USB hard drive. Once you get that done, and it's installed then you'll go plug it into your other computer and when you boot the first thing it says is it will say press F12 to select boot device down here at the boot menu or it may say press F11 press delete it will be down there at the boot right off the bat that's as easy as it is to install Linux on an external hard drive. You can also, if you already have Ubuntu or a derivative, you can go to the disk startup creator, startup disk creator, and choose the image you have that you want to install. I've already got the 12.04 image selected there. Then you can choose the device you want to install it to or erase disk. This is to the external my external USB 1 gig hard drive. The problem with this part is if you do it this way it will erase the entire disk already so or you'll have to you click erase if you already have something on there and then make startup disk I don't want to erase that because that has a gigs worth of files on it there 